In this video, I'll be learning the Sailor Moon and I'll show you the progressions that I'm using to learn it so that you can learn it at home too. Let's go. Let's find a spot to practice. So this is my current setup at the moment. I'm traveling in my caravan at the moment with my little dog Coco here. We're down by the river. There's a nice spot. So we might go and find a spot down there by the river, hey? Let's do it. To feel out the steps for the Sailor Moon, I started with these rolls, which I found terrific just to orientate my awareness for the twisting that happens as we step and then roll over. From there, I moved on to this tornado kick. So taking a step, chamber the second leg up with the bent knee and then hop through onto the other leg. This is a tornado kick setup. So adding a little bit more speed now, we can step, lift, and spin. Here's another look at it. From here, what I wanted to do is keep my hips extended and my legs straight. So using the same tornado kick setup, I started arching more through my spine. And then I moved on to placing the hand on the ground and working on the kick, which is a bit of a capoeira style back spinning kick. And this is just to generate the power that we'll need when we hit our Sailor Moon. To build up some more confidence, I thought I would do a touchdown with the hand and a step over and a swipe with the hands. This is replicating the action, but just in a safe way. Then I thought I'd practice the arm action, which is like bowling a cricket ball, trying to keep my arms in a vertical parallel direction as though I'm bowling down a laneway. At this point, I had the confidence to start to add a jump, so I thought I'd touch down with the hand and do a sweeping spinning kick and a jump at the same time and what i had was the start of my sailor moon so it's still very vertical more of a barrel roll but this is just to feel out the spin in midair after i get touched down from here it started to feel more comfortable so i started to lean it over a little bit more it's still fairly chest up still fairly vertical but it's starting to take shape starting to make some progress with this one. So I think the key now is to invert it more and more and try and get the hips above the shoulders so that we get that more inverted look to it. Right now I'm doing a bit of a barrel roll with the chest and head up higher than the hips. So I'm gonna try and dip lower and throw the leg higher and maintain that position through the spin. Hopefully it looks a bit cooler. These are my attempts trying to lean it over further and further. These first few, I'm still chest up, head up, but over the reps, I start to lean it over more and more. I found if I kicked higher and tried to spot the ground for a little longer, I could start to invert it just a little bit more. Each repetition, I just try to improve on the last and get lower and lower. I'd have to reset sometimes and then dip and drive. This was probably one of my better ones. That one was almost inverted. Let's take a look at this one. Bam, so that's starting to look a little bit nicer now. That's a nice one there. Oh. <laughs> I think acrobatics belongs in everybody's movement practice because it involves explosiveness, accuracy, courage, <laughs> and also just getting outside on the grass is fantastic. Being in nature, being in the elements, being with your animals like Miss Coco here. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, drop me a thumbs up, hit me up with some comments, share, like, do all the things, and I'll see you in the next video. Phew!